Hey, good evening everybody! My opponent for this game will be Andrew with 156 wins. Hello, hello again and welcome to Chalrim Altar. As usual, I am largely the red Zerg in the bottom left position and on the opposite side we have Andrew, the blue Terran in the top right position. So, uh, I apparently started with some misspelling that is a good way to start a game. Then you know that you are ahead because he thinks that you are bad in this game because you cannot press your keys in the right order. Um, I want to make just one small announcement here in the beginning. Uh, if you have not noticed, I do stream every now and again. And you can find me on justin.tv slash logo please. Or you can find me as, uh, on um, wellplay.org slash Largo please. Uh, it is the same stream of course just uh, sharing it from there and I I want you people to if you are interested to come and see and if not then it's fine anyways do uh, some uh, games on my channel still and uh, but even though it's not that many viewers the f few who views of course want their share of this. So uh, that was very slow, I hadn't really planned what to say, I just uh, hope the best. Uh, and then, uh, let's see what I'm actually doing here, I'm getting my... I actually got a 14... Well, uh, I scouted him uh, over here and I got a 15 pool falling gas there. Uh, just a little, little bit more greedy, I think it works out just perfectly as well. Anyways. And in the meantime he's just walling himself in here with two... Two barracks and one supply depot. Feeling happy. And did I actually see that? I think I did. Yeah, I scouted that, so I am happy about that. I know what's going on, and he is not doing anything special, and of course, if I see two barracks, I'm kinda expecting some kind of early pressure. And I'm actually... How did I see this? I didn't! Uh, now I'm seeing it! That explains it! I actually thought that I had something in his base. Okay, so that was the first time I thought. I did see two barracks, and now I know that I might have to prepare for some kind of defense. Because he may might want to kill me. People usually do that. I'm not sure why. I can get a production tab here as well. As, as you can see, I'm getting speed. And then I'm actually pulling guys of gas. Should police guys. Well, there we go. Uh, might a bit too much, but that is okay on my level. Getting some Zerglings, getting my queen. Just two Zerglings here. Uh, to be able to scout around the map, get this um, SV as well. And what's going on over here? He is getting his commands out there and the third barracks as well. So he is going for the economy game as well. And as you can see, I'm moving out with a drone if we get my expansion. So our expansion timing is about the same. And that is not great for me. I prefer to be a bit earlier. But I do not want to go um, with the. Um, 15 hatch if I'm not sure what he's doing because I tend to lose to bank rushes and such So I'm taking these towers. They are great positioned. I see everything he does uh, well if he moves out of his base that is and Doing some early transfer shares and I uh, actually did some very funny Miss rallies with Jones this time. Oh, here we go. That's two seconds. I'm actually made a Second couple here just to have it uh, one on each tower here and then I'll be able to scoop back and forth and I'm getting my drones back here as well and, and nothing much is going on in the beginning here of course I'm getting guys but that's not right I think I actually had five workers in this gas for really 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 long time I didn't even notice well I'm getting a lot of gas that's good uh, I'm messing around here a lot with my inject as well come on what am I doing I'm just falling apart here. Well, I'm getting second queens. I have two queens not injecting. That's nice. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm actually microing. Hey, he accidentally lets me into his base here. And I've got a full read of what's going on. And I did find nothing. That made me so happy because then I know, well, he cannot get any... He has no factory. That means he has no starport. I do not have to prefer, prepare for air for quite a while. Scouting our hand and we'll try to get away. But of course, he will shut this down. Oh, the most I didn't get out there. I'm getting some drones over here as well because I'm bad at this game. In the meantime, I'm getting my hive. I have one spine. I should probably move. There we go. Moving uh, up here in the front. Should uh, 
spreading some more creep here. I should probably spend my money as well. Is it a bit high and should probably get an overload. That would be nice. Try up not to. Now that we are three overloads at a time, that's um, special. Still five hours dash. Beautiful. And my queen is just spreading some creep. I want to get a vision. I don't want to, him to build anything or land anything there without my notice. I'm saying that there we go. I do have my lair up. And what can you get when you have lair? Well, you can get some more gas. Should probably get two more gases. Yes, that is it. And uh, come on. Here is my little probe. How could I know that? Well, I played this game like five minutes ago. That explains a lot. I'm getting my spire. Uh, in other games, I've just gotten a few. You does been annoying, then transitioned into something else, maybe Bradlock or something. But they're actually viewed. Uh, the daily, I think it's. I, I viewed today, it was uh, the daily from yesterday with day 9, uh, where he talked about how Slush played. And he is getting lots of Muralisks, and he can be so annoying, do so much harassment. And if you have a lot of Muras, uh, well, one or two turrets, that's not a problem. You can just bash right in, kill it, and kill a lot of Jones. And that is what I'm opting for here. I'm getting a second spine crawler here. Should probably move them down. To, yeah, there we go to cover this um, ramp here. Moving out to bit a few starlings. Getting yeah, I saw this marine moving out so I want to get him. And he is getting down beautiful. And he's getting let's see what's going up up here actually. He's getting a starport and he's getting blue flame helions and he's getting supply cap. So as you can see I got supply cap earlier so we are equally bad and that is of course good because then I still have a chance and my queen she is a high energy I just want to. Uh, uh, well, yeah, I have no words for that. I'm bad. And I mean, I got those starlings, and why not use them for any for anything? This is what I'm using them for, and getting these destruct destructible rocks just to. Oh, come on! There we go. That is a bit more like it. I'm actually getting getting seven mutalisks here, and that will be able to do quite a, a lot of damage. But in the meantime, it, it seems like he's actually preparing to move out there. He's open his. Um, Big gate here, a solid gate, and he's moving out with some Helions. And uh, I am just seeing this, and I'm like, oh, okay, come on. And, well, <laughs> what is he going to do? I do have seven Mutalisks. I, I should have, oh, there we are. I'm just trying some other way. And still <laughs> knocking on these rocks. It takes quite a while to get them down. And I'm actually not producing anything at all right now. Should probably do that. I'm getting one spine, okay. But yeah, I'm getting one more at the ramp here. Trying to spread the creep as well. And just gathering my mutas together here. Getting three more, getting some more overlords. And I am getting my expansion here. I want to get a third. And he's moving in here to try to kill something. I'm poking out there with the mutas. Give the reaction time here. Let's check this speed actually. Um, what is it? 4.25 and these have... Well, I can actually not catch up with this. I kind of noticed that. I didn't know that for sure, but uh, actually I actually thought I could, but apparently I couldn't. And I'm getting 12, 12 more Jones. Look at the look at the unit tab here. 58 Jones to his 42 SCVs. So I'm doing all right there. Oh, that's not right. Units. Ah, there we go. I'm getting plus one here for my air unit. I'm getting two evolution chambers to get my servings pumped up as well. A bit of the long distance mining here, but that is all right. Getting even more mulisks here, some in the base, and I'm going in here to see if we can do some kind of damage. And I'm fine, spider pose, undefended. And I decided, well, why not? That might be annoying. And, and ooh. Didn't know if you saw that, it got a big and some window in my face. And here we go, I'm getting one. I mean, should be able to snipe this as well, getting this tidy pose. So he is actually supply capped right now, and that is of course a burn line for him, I cannot do anything. I'm getting 8 more muted discs. My plus one is uh, halfway done, almost at least. Should probably start some upgrades here, since I have these evolution chambers. Getting 6 more drones, should get some gas down here as well, and get my third up and running. And so far I've been in complete control, he's getting his shields, he's getting an armory, probably for Thor's. Because they are such a great unit against... Uh, Mutalisks. If you accidentally clamp up your Mutalisks, they will just die instantly. It, they take so much damage. Very important to uh, make sure that if you're moving in, you will have to do it in a magic box. As you can see, this 
base is heavily saturated here. I should get my gas. I should get my gas. I should get my gas. I'm getting new lists. And Bailing Nest, of course, that is something great against Marines. I did see that he had quite a few Marines. So I decided that, uh, well, that, that might work. A bit annoying with. And still got not getting this gas. And why I'm not doing that? Well, I have no idea. Probably should. I'm actually going to start here. Come on, come on. Well, I'm injecting here, so I should probably... There we... Okay, I'm getting defense. There we go, finally getting gas. And uh, I'm actually starting to spread my creep down here. And I'm starting to get a quite nice force here of Mutalisks 18. They deal a lot of damage very, very fast. And have this plus one uh, attack as well. So 10 damage per shot. And 18, that is 108 damage per volley. And I do see his force here. Well, force and force. Yeah, I'm actually able to kill quite a few of his Hellions right there, I see that he's on the way as well. So I'm feeling happy, I know what to expect. And what do we see, guys? You see 28 Hellions on the way here, plus and plus one. It's not done, that is quite bad. I'm trying to inject. I'm kinda starting to struggle quite a lot with my... Okay, I should probably get gas here as well. That would be nice. And he's sieging up right here, that is a great place to siege up. And I'm running down with some Hellions to the death. And of course, Bane's here would be really, really good. And I, but I don't have time for that, I want speed on them. So I decided to poke down here, force his marines to move away, forcing his stim as well, and keeping my range here. And he actually leaves his uh, tanks undefended. And I'm moving in with all my servants here, and I'm going for the tanks, and they are all dead. I'm going in here with my servants against his marines as well. But of course my, marine, uh, my servants are not upgraded at all. Do we have anything? No, but still. That'd be nice, and <laughs> I'm just trying to rebuild this gas, but no, he refuses to let me do that. He's giving me some lag instead, but I do have some servings here. So I'll be able to fend this just perfectly. So there we go, I'm getting a surround, my servings, I'm getting a mulisks in there as well, I'm get able to get these medivacs. And let's check this gas. I think I missed something, I think there was a drop in my base earlier. Because I know that it, it was. And it actually killed my uh, workers here, so that, that's nice. Because now I'm not having five workers in the gas anymore. I'm starting to saturate down here as well. Um, my minerals are just skyrocketing here. Should probably get some power units. Getting, I'm getting my infestation pit so I can get the hive. Uh, I was thinking of ultras getting plus two, plus two. That is of course great news for me. Should probably get a base down here, a base over here. Could actually grab lots of bases right now. Uh, both for larva and of course for satu fu uh, future saturation here. And I'm moving in here. I see two missile turrets and I'm like, hello, I eat these for breakfast, they're going down and I'm just parking over here, getting a few shots away, and if you get, oh, I have to check this, control, is controller, control, uh, yes, I cannot do this right, I've only killed uh, at least, actually, 10 workers, he has killed 10 workers, so uh, he is actually uh, ahead of me in this, uh, but of course, my saturation is uh, greater since I am on... Well, he's actually getting space up right here. A lot of mules, but what do I do? I do see he's moving out here. I'm taking all my mule discs. And this because I know that I will have time to fly back. His forces are very, very slow. I'm forcing him to run away with everything. And uh, I'm denying him a lot of mining time here. But I should probably kill this. But he's so close to my base, I decide to actually run back. And uh, I will try to pinch him here, and this is a huge, huge mistake. I'm going in here, getting this round of my Hellions. Uh, that is not good with me. I'm getting 30, 34 more Zerglings here. My plus 2 air is on the way as well. 38 Zerglings on the way. Moving away my Overlord. I do not want them to die. And Oh, almost a poke there. Getting away some pokes here at least. Getting one Hellion down, and that is good, because I do need to do that. I do have this uh, Mulisk, I need to do something great with them. So I'm moving in here with all my Zerglings. Uh, more are reinforcing and I'm going in here with the Magic Box. I need to do this and I need to do this now because these tanks can deal so much damage so quickly. And he is actually only having one floor left here and it will go down. Plus one, plus one on it, so it's quite strong. But I'm able to kill it, I'm able to kill all these Marines as well. And these tanks will of course go down, but not before they're killing my hatchery. That is not something you want to see as a third player. You want your hatcheries alive and well because not only can you mine, but you also use them to produce your forces. So we'll have to 
regain that and uh, now I'm back on two bases at the moment I'm getting a third down there and this will be my fourth well kinda uh, I should probably grab a lot more as, as you can see my money is really really high I'm <laughs> actually continuing to drone up here because I want to have a great saturation and I decide to move up once again with my mulisks to do some kind of harassment and if you look at this this is great plus three plus three and adrenal glands and um, my plus two for my mutalisks is almost done. Getting eight more mutalisks, getting ultra ultralisk cavern, and that of course spells havoc in his face. But before I will be able to do that, I see that he's moving out once again. But I do have this surging force here, and at first I'm thinking, well, I should probably engage this. I do see a lot of thors here. We try to pick them off to go in here. But I decided, no, that will not work at all, so I'm deciding to go on the defense. But with not not with all of my forces. Instead you will see these Surlings. Come on. There we go, finally. I'm actually sacrificing this base here. I'm s seeing that he's moving down, so I decided, well, I'm going away from there. Moving up here to saturate this once again. And in the meantime, if you look at this, I do have this plus two, plus two Surlings. Plus two Surlings against SCDs. They do quite well. In fact, they kill. Kills all SVs in the base, and I am happy with that. I'm moving away once again before he is able to defend that. I did lose this hatchery, so I'm struggling with my hatcheries. I do see his force, I know that it is on the way. And this drone is like, oh yeah, I will take these motherfuckers. I do have quite a few mutilisks though, uh, and I have quite a lot of surglings as well so I will hopefully be able to fend this off in some way of course Thors are very very deadly against mutalisks I'm moving in here with all my surglings I'm picking away here Br broodling is, uh, is falling as well I'm going in with the magic box and I am once again able to kill off his forces here and I'm very pleased with that but now I'm back on two bases I need to grab a lot of expansion I need to do it right now because I am almost mined out in my main but I have such bad saturation there, so it will take a while anyways. This one is um, starting to get mine out. I need to get this one up. I need to get this one up. And I should probably get this one. Oh, there we go. Finally, I'm getting it. Because I cannot spend my money right now. Because I am so low on hatcheries, so low on queens, so low on everything. But uh, I'm not low on mutalisks. That is something that is very, very good. And he's not even mining here. Just chilling around. And as you can see, he's, he is completely broke right now. Because he's not mining. And uh, I'm able to see this base here going down and I'm moving in with my mule disks, deciding that, well, I will not let you mine with your mules here. So that was three mines and an SV just for waste. And here we go, even more SVs transferring down, and they will of course go down as well. And the up here I did attack with, with my Surglings as well, so I'm denying his mining completely here. And this is kind of his last attempt here, he cannot do anything, he's very, very broke. Just a few mineral patches left here. N no other expansions are running at all. And I know that if I fend this, I will be right. And I'm getting a lot and a lot of banelings here. Uh, this base is still not running. So I'm still <laughs> struggling with all my bases. Uh, but of course this will um, stall him just a little, delaying his attack up here. And that will give me time to get all my banelings in place, get all my mutalisks in place as well. And this force is still very, very active here. And I'm moving up here, seeing that, well, he's not mining. So I decided to move down here instead to be able to kill this and go in f for some SCV kill down here as well. In the meantime, I'm moving in here. Well, he's moving in here, rather. And I, he's actually focusing f here. And that is a huge mistake. Look at all these banelings. Just obliterating every single marine and helion. Well, almost every single marine. There we go. He actually got my hatchery, but that doesn't really matter. I still have a superior force. Uh, he's able to fend this off finally. But if you look at the kill tab here, he actually killed 54 workers for him. So that is, that's gotta sting so hard. And <laughs> yet another serving force on the way here. And you know where I'm going. Of course, I'm going up right here. He haven't sealed that off in any way. I know that that is the highway to death. A lot of mules, a lot of SVs just transferring up here. Pretty good is. Uh, very heavily saturated. And he's trying to defend this with turrets. 
But I'm not going in with my mules. I'm going in with my Zerglings. And uh, once again, these Zerglings now... Ah, okay, I'm not one of them. There we go. Plus 3, plus 3, and the attack speed. 0.59. So they attack really, really fast. We'll be able to kill this force as well. There we go. And he is completely mined out in his two other bases, I think. Yes. Well, almost. And he has no saturation whatsoever in his third. And these Marines do not stand a chance. And in the meantime, I'm going into his base here with a lot of mutalists. Even more Zerglings is just streaming in here, trying to get my hatches up once again. Getting this one saturated finally, so I'm able to keep an economy and I can't cannot keep my money low. But I am in this game very happy when I played it. And here is the GG from Andrew, I'm able to take this game. A lot of back and forth. I actually missed this drop. There it was a Hellion drop right into my main here. That was why I had so few workers right there. But I decided, well, I do not have to reinforce right there because it will get mine out eventually. So I reinforced down here. And up here instead. Uh, a very very fun game to play. I actually did not get any end game units. I could have gotten Ultralisk. I got this. Uh, uh, Ultralisk Cavern should probably get uh, this plating. And that would have been great. But the Zerglings, they did their job. Just beautiful this game. That is everything for tonight. Thank you everybody and goodbye. Oops.